Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. So in today's video, we'll be giving you guys a compensatory pick update for the Washington Commanders from that Chase Young trade and going over some other free agency rumors. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and the notification bell as well so you never miss a video. All right, so going to be a quick video, but just wanted to go over this. You know, the Washington Commanders didn't have any compensatory picks from themselves and if you guys didn't know you get a compensatory pick let's say for example you know we'll give a prior example brandon sheriff left the commanders what a couple years ago he goes to the jaguars and you're not going to get a compensatory pick that year but if everything works out where you know he gets a big deal which he did and we don't sign a bunch of big name players and it doesn't cancel out then we'll get a third round comp pick the next off season and that's how it works so we had a comp pick for brandon sheriff last uh draft and you know i don't know who we ended up taking i think ricky stromberg was uh who we took with that pick but it is useful at times we didn't get anyone this year because we didn't have a lot of guys leaving last year and we did uh we, we did sign some guys so you know that is going to you know cancel out we did give wiley a solid deal and some other guys as well so that cancels out but we did trade for chase or we did trade chase young we didn't trade for chase young we traded chase young and originally it was supposed to be like the 100th or 101st overall pick in the draft. Now, officially the 99th pick in the 2024 draft. So not a huge difference, but a little bit of a pleasant surprise moving up a couple spots than, you know, what we thought we were going to have. So honestly, that's solid for us. And we're going to be uh, 99th overall. So last pick in the third round, but still, um, yeah, n not bad at all. Uh, for the Washington Commanders, yeah, I think that is the last pick in the third round. I'm trying to see. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm I don't know what chart I'm looking at right now, but we're gonna have the 99th pick. It was supposed to be 100th, so good news there for the Washington Commanders. Nothing crazy. We could get some comp picks next, or the Commanders could get some comp picks next year. Depend depending on depends on what happens this free agency. You know, Cam Curl probably going to get a solid deal over 10 million a year i would think gibson not going to get a huge deal but he'll probably get a deal worthy of like a sixth round comp pick and then some other guys as well might get deals cornelius lucas guys like that so if we don't go crazy in free agency we might get some comp picks next season uh some free agency rumors so john kime on his podcast i didn't listen to it but shout out to strictly speaking for putting it out here he said some free agents kime said to watch out for uh, Tyler Biotis, who's center for the Cowboys, Jordan Lewis, DB for the Cowboys, Dorrance Armstrong, Armstrong, I don't, I do not know why I'm messing up so many words today, but DN for the Cowboys, Dante Fowler, also believe is a DN for the Cowboys, also play for the Rams, and one other team as well, and Jaron Kirsch, who's a safety, pretty good, Justin Simmons, that's really the only name there that is not a Cowboy or 49er, uh, he just got released by the Broncos. Oren Burks, I don't know who that is. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Cleland uh, Farrell, fourth overall pick, what, 2018, 20, around that, twenty maybe 2019. Uh, he's He played for the 49ers, could be an option, wouldn't mind that. Matt Pryor, John Feliciano, Chris Conley, Charlie Warner, and Aziz Al-Shahir. Uh, it was researching him a little bit. Linebacker for the... 49ers for four years was solid, couple hundred tackle seasons, and you know had one year where he kind of missed some time. Let's see what was the other guy's name, uh, Matt Pryor. No, Oren Burks. I don't know who that is. Oren Burks. Okay, he's a linebacker. Looks like for the 49ers. Let's look at his stats real quick. But that, that's another guy. Expect to sign a lot of you know. 49ers or Cowboys. I don't mind that at all. Two teams that and they haven't been having, you know, a ton of success. The Cowboys haven't won a lot of playoff games, but a lot more than we have the last few years. And same thing with the 49ers. They've been making it far into the playoffs. So this guy, already forgot his name, Oren Burks, what, 28 years old, actually from Alexandria, Virginia. So that could be an option. Maybe he wants to come home, was with the Packers for four years. Nothing crazy. Seems like a solid role player. Great ad right there. Seems like a solid uh, role player. Gets a sack or so a season. A couple forced fumbles in his career. So nothing crazy. 
um, has started 15 total games. So he's a role player, special teamer, and that's probably, if we sign him, that's what he's going to be here for. And, you know, wouldn't mind it at all. Let's look at Matt Pr- Pryor and, you know, a couple other guys, Dante Fowler. He's someone that maybe the commanders could go after. He's played on a lot of teams. Okay, well, he's played on a lot of teams. Most recently with the Cowboys and outside linebacker. Maybe they'll want to have him there. So he's played with the Cowboys, the Falcons, the Rams, Jaguars. And he's not amazing, but he's like, he, again, he's a solid role player. Four, five, six sack guy. And you're not going to have to pay him a ton. And he's still relatively young. I think he's like 29 years old. Let's see. Yeah, 29 years old. So he's an option for sure. I rather, though, give me someone like, if we go back to the list, Clone Farrell, who has a little bit more potential and, I mean, obviously hasn't panned out yet, but fourth overall pick for a reason. He's got some talent. Wouldn't mind him. And, uh, you know, Tyron Smith is out there. He's a little too old and he's probably going to want to, you know, play for a contender. So would probably pass on him. But out of these guys, Justin Simmons, definitely a beast. Would like him, but he probably, I mean, that's going to cost a lot of money first off. And second off, he's probably going to want to go somewhere else. He's probably going to want to win. He hasn't won in this league yet. And then besides that, I like uh, Dorrance Armstrong. I think he had like seven, eight sacks the last couple years, you know, both years, uh, seven plus sacks. So that's pretty good. A guy like Montez Sweat, where he gets like seven or eight sacks every year, but hasn't really broken out. So maybe, or at least for the last couple of years, that's what Dorrance Armstrong's done. Maybe he can do that in Washington I think he's a guy for sure that Washington's going to be interested in and it's just a question of is he interested in playing for Washington and obviously you have Dan Quinn that helps out a lot in terms of bringing in some of these Cowboys and uh, you know Dorrance Armstrong will have a big role here he's going to be a starter if he plays if he signs here it's going to cost a decent amount of money definitely double digit I would say double digits for him i mean it's a younger guy who is you know close to double digit sacks it's going to be at least 10 mil i don't know how much but i know at least 10 mil per year for darn uh, dorrance armstrong that's at least my thoughts and i wouldn't mind bringing in one guy from their secondary you know curse jordan lewis there's like one other name as well bring in one guy from the secondary that's a solid veteran that can play okay for you while you try to figure out your whole secondary while you try to figure out who is good in your secondary so is Forbes that guy is Quan Martin Percy Butler Derek Forrest like who out of those guys are building blocks but you want to have a veteran or two in that room so maybe Kendall Fuller or Kirsch or Jordan Lewis wouldn't mind that at all so that's it for today's video hope you Guys, enjoy it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a video. Gonna try to be consistent with the uploads. We'll probably upload tomorrow a video going over five free agents that I think are sleepers for the commanders, and there will be a name or two from this list. So thanks for watching, and peace.